What's up? It's your big old bald daddy boy here to mushroom stamp you with some mother loving knowledge. We gonna finna get that bread or that toilet paper, whatever becomes the currency of the inevitable apocalyptic wasteland. I'm sure we'll all find ourselves living amongst very soon. Very, very soon. Okay, anyways, hit him with the dab. I'm Flatulent Fleer, and let's just get straight into it. I'm recording this on April 1st, but there ain't no fools here, S.A. Ha. Actually, that's a little bit of an April Fool's itself, because you see, I intended to record this on the 1st, the day I wrote it, and then um, suddenly it was April 6th, and I hadn't done it yet, so here we are. Of course, there's only one thing in the news right now. The but the mainstream media has become this endless echo chamber of fear-mongering false information, repeating the same information, repeating the same information, yada, 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 boring, uh, yeah. boring, snoring, snoring, the old man is snoring. No, uh, no, he actually, that old man died from exposure to the coronavirus after he sat on that toilet that that TikTok thought licked. I got a real juicy story for you. It's real juicy, real succulent. Popeyes has better gravy. Ooh. Oh, and I, oop. I want to talk about what really matters. I want to get down to the real truths, the real facts. Of course, I'm talking about Whoopi freaking Goldberg. You know, oh, Whoopi Goldberg here. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm going to use my piece of shit talk show, The View, to attack the grandfather of simp culture, Bernie Sanders. I don't know why I put on a baby voice. Here's... Here's a clip of their interaction. Do you believe there is a path to victory when you didn't come out when uh, Hillary Clinton was clearly well, the person folks were going for? People okay. have a right Why are you to still in the democracy? race? Well, there are millions of people who cannot pay their rent, cannot pay their mortgage. Yes. Can't but wouldn't it be smarter for you to continue happens, on that path run, to make sure that gets done? Your I plan is to said that we are well, for the fourth time, you're assessing. We are assessing. Okay, all right. We are assessing. That's very campaign. good. Whoopi, that was great. Just a few small notes for you, girl. Um, shut the fuck up, you goddamn entitled demon. And I'm not saying that because I voted for Bernie Sanders or because of like Whoopi's acting career or something. I'm pretty sure I'm the only other person on the planet besides Brendan Fraser who actually fucking loves Monkey Bone, in which old Whoopi here plays death and quite frankly, crushes it. Also, shout out to Diedrich Bader in that movie. I think he's really funny. Theodore Rex, uh, Theodore, yes, Please. I'm too sexy for my clothes. I just can't wait until they inevitably remake the movie in 2069, so five. Except instead of the dinosaur being the puppet, they actually clone a real dinosaur, something like all of Jurassic Park, and then they use the carcass of Whoopi Goldberg as the puppet. Also, side note, funny thought that I just had was an actual Jurassic Park situation happening on the set of Theodore Rex 2. It just makes me giggle. What the fuck am I going with this? Well, where's Whoopi actually going with this? What fight are you really trying to pick here? Where was Whoopi Goldberg just like a month ago when Elizabeth Warren and Mike Bloomberg were siphoning votes away from either one of the two actual candidates? It's just so frustrating to me because if you want to actually touch on this topic, Whoopi, just think about it for more than, like, a second. I know you're busy defending your rapist friends. No one has met these other women as of yet. And, and quite honestly, you know, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Having been on both sides of this where people allege that you do something, it doesn't matter now. This is out of the cat's out of the bag. People have it in their head. And I have a lot of questions for the lady. Maybe she'll come on. Or shitting your pants on every other episode of The View. <laughs> yeah. <Go ahead. laughs> I feel like, why do I want to inject something into my skin that's gonna Excuse make me? Excuse me. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, dear. Who hold on for me? I feel so much better now. Look, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for Whoopi Goldberg to have some sort of critical thought, though, okay? I'm pretty sure the dreadlocks are sucking all the neurons out of her brain, anyways, because that's definitely how science works. What I'm saying is, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Although, I'm, maybe I should, because Whoopi. You straight died of insur and Gwyneth Paltrow vagina candles is making for some really nasty dust you keep blowing off those turds that have been sitting in your stomach since the first table read for Sister Act. The first one, not the sequel. I don't really know what the point I'm trying to make here is. Honestly, I just saw some videos of Whoopi Goldberg farting and I had to expand from there. I guess if I had to make any point, it'd be Whoopi Goldberg strikes me as the kind of person who thinks they know more than everybody else and thinks they're better than everybody else and will go out of the way to make that point, but actually isn't. And the irony of me saying that is not lost on me. I'm just choosing to ignore it. 
Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Small X, Big X, Whoopi Goldberg farting compilation, Big X, Little X underscore 69 underscore 420 underscore watchmojo.gov coming at you, telling you to smash that subscribe button like Whoopi Goldberg smashes the patriarchy. I want you to share this video like Whoopi Goldberg shares her godsent beliefs on her hit television show, The View. And I want you to like this video the same way I like to tie a belt around my neck and jerk off to a three hour loop of Whoopi Goldberg farting. I want you to comment on this video like Whoopi, I don't know, this is fucking stupid.